All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. We're out here this weekend. Uh, it is uh, middle of October. It is going to be a gorgeous day today. We figured we have not had a chance yet to get to take our canopy out and actually do some truck bed camping and kind of test out some of the gear that we've bought for that uh, over the summer. It just didn't happen. But late in October, 80 degree weekend here in the Pacific Northwest, you're going to take that and take the opportunity to do it. So as you see, no trailer behind us. The only kicker this weekend is, is that there is a lot of smog. Um, there are wildfires going on all around the western side of uh, the Cascades. Uh, so... Uh, a couple of the spots that we really wanted to go to, they are near the forest fires up north and also to the southeast of us. So we are not going to those locations. We're going to our tried and true place. We're going to Ranger Creek. Um, I know we were just there a couple videos ago, but we're going to go back. We know the area. We know the location. And it's easy enough to bomb out of there if I need to. Um, so we're taking the truck. We're going to show you guys exactly what we've got and uh, what, uh, what we're going to take along for this little trip. So let's go ahead and head up to Ranger Creek. Everybody, we have made it uh, to our camp spot here uh, there are spots on either side of the runway here uh, you can go um, on the left side as you're coming in and that's the more open exposed area with the more refined uh, campsites and then you got the other side here that's kind of kind of got a lot of little nooks on the side here that you can kind of tuck into we opted uh, just to come into one of these side ones we haven't been over here before so at least it's something a little bit new for us uh, but uh, it's gonna be pretty cool we're gonna start getting set up here in a little bit but the first thing we got to do is go over to the other side and uh, get checked in and get our tags and stuff all right so we're about ready to set up the back of the truck for us to um, be able to sleep in tonight uh, last year, uh, we went out to Packwood and did some uh, truck bed camping. We were in a tent at that time, but we used an air mattress on the inside. I found that to be a little bit unpredictable when you're out there. If you get, a, if you get something that happens with it, it loses air, you got to pump it back up. And so we decided to kind of try something a little bit different this time. So... We're gonna open the back of the truck. And what we have is a tri-fold four inch mattress. Now I've tried this thing at home and laid on it for a little while and it seemed to be pretty good. Even with it being only four inches, it's pretty dense, it's pretty solid. So we're gonna try this this weekend uh, we did the measurements this thing will fit directly in the back which is uh, which is great and if you want it to actually sit up and give you a little bit of a seat you can do that too probably gonna get a, uh, a mat or something for the bottom of this eventually but we just essentially just kind of slide that in there And 
and it'll eventually kind of just compress down into there and fits directly in the back, no problems. I've seen the truck bed mattresses that go all the way around the wheel wells and I and I wasn't really too excited about that. I like to be able to have and to put things on the sides. So this weekend we're camping in the canopy versus the tent. Uh, this is a little bit more of a, what I would call a little bit safer of an option to be, you know, out backwooding and uh, overlanding, at least for us. So I also noticed the last time we were out that the temperatures got pretty low, probably in the mid 30s. And our 30 degree bag we had just didn't really cut it. So um, I did some research over last winter. We came up with this product here. This is the Teton XXL uh, sleeping bag. Uh, this thing's rated to zero. Um, not that I will ever be camping out in zero degree weather, most likely not in the back of the truck. Uh, one, we don't get that much extreme weather out here, but I just typically don't, I just typically don't do that. Um, especially out of the truck. This is very, um, this is very much not something that we would do, uh, in October. But since the weather is so good this weekend, we're going to try it. It should get down into the upper 40s tonight, upper to mid 40s. Who knows at this elevation? So I've heard really good things about this. We're going to try it out. As you can see right there, zero degree. It's got that nice flannel back on it, which... I'm a fan of, I don't like this silky stuff up against me, it's not my jam, but this kind of flannel material seems like it'd be a little bit better. So that's pretty much it. We got a mattress, we got a sleeping bag, I brought a pillow. Uh, we'll show you guys a little bit later when we're gonna make some dinner, what that's gonna look like. I also bought some lights to go in the back to hang up. We're gonna try those out in a little bit. Uh, we also have a Jackery, so we can, um, you know, charge our, charge our phones and, you know, do small, uh, small charging, small power usage type of things. But uh, we're gonna try this. Uh, this is probably not the last piece that we're gonna do with this, but that's the cool thing is you gotta get out here, you gotta try stuff and see what you like, see what works, see what doesn't work. Uh, I am nowhere an expert on truck bed camping and all that stuff, but I'm learning as I'm going. Uh, we love to be able to diversify how we go travel from cruising to destination all the way to backwoods <laughs> off the side of the road in the back of the truck camping as well. So we're going to finish kind of getting this set up and then uh, we'll be having dinner here in a little bit. So it's now time for us. We've been sitting here just hanging out. It's been kind of nice just uh, getting to do what I want. I've been uh, working on some videos and just kind of enjoying the nature out here. It's been great. Now it's time to start busting out some of the cooking equipment that uh, we have got for our truck setup. I also got uh, some sweet potatoes and uh, some onions and some sausage and we're just going to kind of mix that up and kind of just do that and get to test out this little butane uh, burner that we got. I like these pieces because they're small and compact and can go into my my little tote. And mind you this is still a work in progress. We got stuff kind of scattered all over the place in here but we're going to get uh, we're going to get our gas one uh, little stove out here and check that out and just kind of see uh, what that looks like. So it's time to make some dinner.
nothing like a little dinner by the fire out in the wilderness. Can't beat it. I wish we could have a real fire with all the wildfires that are going on this weekend um, that are still going on as it has been for the last while. Uh, you can't have open fire um, in the National Forest. You can have propane, but that's it. So we're going to enjoy some dinner, a little bit of fire, enjoy the rest of the night. Not bad. Set. So what an amazing sunrise this morning, uh, definitely waking up to uh, all that was amazing. The Let's go over some of the, the cool things about this trip. One, the non-solar side of Ranger Creek, it's pretty good. Uh, definitely lo love the serenity and stuff out here which was uh, which was which was really cool. You know you had a couple cars going by every once in a while but it wasn't too bad we were able to tuck off the road enough to where it wasn't really a big deal so what did we actually learn this trip one you need to make sure that you know what you're packing uh, we definitely forgot some stuff we had to make one store run and then after getting here found out that we were missing a whole bunch of things um, no utensils for eating i do have a spork in one of my sets and uh, but we didn't have any plates so i gotta work on on that a little bit also maybe a little bit bigger of a frying pan but inside the trailer everything actually <laughs> i'm used to being in the trailer inside the truck uh it uh it actually slept pretty well for the most part i i was rock solid sleeping and the other thing i'm gonna have to look at is uh shading out the inside because about four o'clock this morning i woke up and the moon was out and it was so bright out that it actually lit up my campsite and i had a hard time going back to sleep after that so definitely wasn't something i was completely expecting i was expecting maybe like six o'clock or so maybe that sun was going to come up or maybe it was going to start to get bright but i wasn't expecting everything to be uh, bright at four o'clock this morning now with the truck bed setup itself um, we got to do a little bit with the lighting as well um, i got to be able to bring my lights more towards uh, the front of the truck just so i can have better access that and with the jackery but we will work on that uh, I do feel like this setup slept better than um, the, the tent setup and I think some of that also was because 
of the air mattress going to this uh, memory foam mattress. I didn't really ever feel cold at night. The, the sleeping bag did really good. I had it open most of the night and I stayed plenty warm. Um, so that thing was really, really nice. That I feel like that was a really good investment. We'll do a, a review on some of this other gear down the road. But overall, this was a great trip. This is the first time I've taken anything out really by myself um, out in the middle of, you know, kind of nowhere. And we hope to set the truck up a little bit better so that we can go to more places like this and go a little bit farther. You know, we got to change uh, the, the tire set up next year uh, to be able to, you know, go to those more offbeat places. But so far, I think this trip was exactly what we needed. Um, getting me amped up going into next year to being able to do more stuff like this broaden what we can provide you guys um, is amazing so uh, make sure to drop us a comment below let me know uh, how you get down in your truck um, your truck setup also if you got any suggestions or any pointers or anything i'd love to hear it because i'm definitely not a complete expert in this uh so yeah definitely drop us some comments below how do you camp uh do you like this backwoods camping i really dig it uh ranger creek is um always really good and on this other side it was just as good as the other side is so uh, make sure to hit that like button make sure you're subscribed to the channel so one week we might be in Mexico and the next week we might be up in the woods. You won't want to miss any of those things. But until then, we'll see you guys in the next adventure.